Hey folks, a little holster repair. I'm back by the way. I know it's been a while. Seven months I think? Anyway. Um, another holster I'm fixing. This one is a P38 holster as opposed to a P08 which is the Luger. This is for, I don't remember what they call it, P38. <laughs> um, but one of the first things I got to look for is to see where they tied off on each row and it appears that the top row tied off on this end and the bottom row tied off on that end so I'm going to start in the top here and go down here and tie off down there I've already threaded up my needles and ready to roll off enough thread. <laughs> um, these holes are kind of interesting in that um, on the outside they have that angle to them that we're always looking for in our in our leather goods. But on the inside they are not they're straight so I will be duplicating that as I go and as for how to do that well eh, sometimes you just gotta experiment a little bit going to be I'm considering doing some uh, beginner videos let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in that um, I'm going to do a few different patterns where to talk about tools to get started with at least my opinion on those and uh, kind of go from there I had a few projects in mind that I'm going to be posting free patterns for so everybody can make them um, and you can download the pattern before the video and build it along with me or you can just uh, do it later I do things a little different on some of my th items that uh, other people do different You know, I'll go over all that in those videos. And they'll be kind of like teaching videos, I guess. And just on how you can, you know, get started and, uh, you know, make some gifts for people or make products to sell, whatever you want. Because I don't care what you do with the patterns or my patterns, I'll do what I want with them. I'm not in this game to uh, make money off all my patterns and stuff. Let me know down in the comments which uh, if that's a you think that's a good idea I'm going to I'll have a stitching video in there and some burnishing I do have other videos on those which I'll link in those videos but we'll talk a little bit about stitching and how to get started and that kind of thing I apologize for the air conditioner it's just a little warm
when you're stitching these, you can see, I hope you can see, where the thread was laying on each one of those stitches. And I try to lay my threads in the same spot. I'll show you that a little better later. But that's how I know that it's they're angled on the outside and they're straight on the inside if you kind of see that maybe. But I'll show you when I'm done. Done with this line maybe. Come on. I've got a couple of pins in here to hold it in place while I'm working on it. I should probably take one of them out anyway. I haven't colored this thread yet. I'm going to do that after I'm done. I'm not going to show that on camera. Those are some of my own techniques. Move that pin down. By the time I get that far, I'll be able to take it out and just leave it out then.
I guess before I do the last roll, I'll show you this. But you can see here how you can tell those threads just laid down right into the spot that it originally was. And it's kind of, it works out pretty well that way. On the inside, it looks fairly straight and laid down right where they were on the inside. I tied off down here because that's where the knot was. And it clearly didn't use this very last hole, which seems kind of odd to me, but it is what it is. If it didn't get used, it didn't get used. And you see that every now and again, especially on a on an old holster like this, they might skip a hole. Um, the other one here, I can see where the thread went over to it. So I will use that one. That's just because it's there though. And that's actually the end where it starts. So I'll start on this end, stitch down here, tie off down here. Because it's clearly been tied off down here. So I'll come back after uh, I get that line done and we'll show you what we got. There we go folks. I think that stitching came out pretty darn not well. I tinted the thread a little bit. It's really hard to tint because I think this was a re-dyed holster. Um, back in the 40s they were taking brown holsters and dyeing them black and they did that all through um, the years with the Luger holsters and these B38 holsters. Alright, I was not happy with the color of the thread that I did. Um, it was too dark. The rest of the thread on this holster is much lighter and it varies a lot more in colors because age, <laughs> time. So I restitched everything with a different technique. I think it looks much better now uh, and it probably looks, it never looks the same on camera. But I think, you know, there's a little more variation in the color uh, just like the rest of the holster. I think it looks pretty good. So. That being said, I'm all done with this. We're going to get on with the next project. <sighs> I have another holster. I've got a knife sheath. I've got a new holster to get made. I've got plenty to do. So, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the bell. You get notified of my next video. Um, and I'm going to be around for a while. So, let's keep it rolling. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe and God bless.